Thank you, Julie. You just, just a little bit for Oh, yeah. Just how you did good with like, go on, boy. Yeah. We're going to get you a production, a cit 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 citizen. So I'm about to pay you $5. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Coming in and pay you $5. That's what you're going to get. He got something over there. Muffins. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good morning. Oh my you? gosh. I'm good. I'll, I'll get into all the formals in just a second. As the audience is building up, there's Jess. Hey, Jess, I hope you don't come in as Jessica Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm seeing Jess. Oh, there we go. Hey, Vaughn. See you in a minute. I wear my best friend out. I love her everywhere. She goes everywhere. I go everywhere with her. Y'all know go how that goes. Go yes, best friend. Yes. yes. I love her. I love it. She'll be like, I'm at the blood drive trying. We got a blood drive this morning for sickle cells. So. That is so awesome. All the stuff y'all have going thank on. You, thank you. Blood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. See y'all coming in. Good morning, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Facebook. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's eight o'clock. We're going to get started. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations with Lakeisha. Um, do me a favor. Go ahead and share. I'm telling you this video is going to be everything Vaughn just said everywhere. We go everywhere together. This video is going to be everything this morning. I'm going to share with you two sisters in the community doing their thing, doing their things together. And then they also have individual things. So I'm so excited about the opportunity to be able to interview you here and say I have a give good morning and shout out Rhonda is on one this morning. Good morning. Yeah. It's Saturday. I am like so crunk this morning. Like, yes. okay. And I haven't even had coffee. She hasn't had coffee. No Rhonda, sleep. Rhonda is on no one. Sleep. And, and and the kids said they had girl time. So <laughs> they had girl time. Team no sleep. <laughs> and they team, no, team sleep. no sleep. And so she hasn't even had sleep this morning. No sleep. So no if sleep. this is the energy she exudes with no sleep, I'm saying and then also welcome Nakia. These are my girls from Sister sister friends united we're going to talk a little bit about the organization but we have to start with a few things um that i love to do first i have to show you i'm sure all my hey odell i, I see you lmj lmj i got a new coffee mug they brought me a no coffee mug <laughs> yes so you know i'm winning and we are at one of my favorite spots in the world which is guillermo's coffee shop shout out to josh and jim alley for always allowing me to vade their space so let's get started this yes. morning go put the video everywhere you you possibly sure, can sure, sure. so Hi, people tea. can show yeah you see your Hi, people tea. coming in all oh, good Look. good good so i'm gonna do what i do first and you guys can choose who can go first tell me who's Rhonda and tell me who nikki is <laughs> well i am nikki bolden um i'm just a woman living in arkansas no i'm just joking i am a woman living in arkansas but um i work with sister friends united i'm one of the founding members i've been a part of the organization since 2007. we do a lot of community outreach we empower women um on the side i do event planning so so if you ever have a party or something you need plan look me up i um work in conjunction with royal court but i do have my own business which is extraordinary events by nikki my facebook page is coming because i contract myself out so i'm ready to you know, I promote everybody else. Now it's time to promote Nakia. So Give me some, that Nakia. is what I'm doing. So look out for that. I love that. Thank you. Thank good. you. That's good. Come on, Rhonda. All right. All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am Rhonda Aaron. I am the uh, founder of Sister Friends United. And what can I say about me? Uh, I guess really I am a servant in oh, this role, you know, just trying to help give back to the community, help make a difference for not only the women, but the girls in our community. And that's my first love, my first passion. Then second, I'm a business owner, you oh, know, so, yes. yeah, so uh, we have a business, me estate counseling. And so, um, I don't know, just this whole journey and this 10 years of passion of giving back and making a difference in the community. That's just my heart. And I, I do it regardless of what's going on, challenges, situations, circumstances. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's just my first love. So why community service. Why Sister Friends United? Why the name? Why that particular name? What does it stand for? Actually, the kids smile. The kids smile. The kids smile. I smile because I used to sit next to Rhonda um, at work. And Rhonda was like, um, I was just instantly drawn to her because her energy, her ideas, yeah. and she would always feed into you to develop you into something else. Mm, and it. so um, Jill Scott's song came out, and in that song she <laughs> talked about sister friend. And Rhonda was birthing this idea about this group of women, this powerful.
powerful group of women to be, I don't, to be able to um, go out in the community and serve the community and empower one another and take us to the next level. So one day she came to work and she started talking about Sister Friends United. And I was like, you got that from Jill Sasso, you know, so she was like, yes. And then she passed out, y'all. She did, Keisha, when I say she passed out this personalized handmade invitation to each person that she had handpicked yes. to be in the group and it was like from that point that the momentum just together. picked up the, yes. the the ideas just started flowing just flowing yeah. flowing flowing and she just kept pouring into the group pouring into the people that work with her yes. and it's like when i talk about it i get chills because i'm like how can this woman be so phenomenal yeah <clears throat> that's good. And be so young and do all these things yes. and She's like the Energizer Bunny. She's yes. just going and going and going and going yeah. and going. And she, and with her going, she goes with everybody else. And what oh, I mean by big. that, she feeds all of us. And then her energy just, when I tell you words that Rhonda has <laughs> said to me or told me, like when I first started um, event planning, Rhonda mm -hmm. was like, Nakia, business is business and personal is personal. I you don't you mix the two. You, you don't that. mix yes. the two. Yes. You handle your That's business me. and you handle it right and you do it decent and in order. No. So I've been trying to follow that. I try to follow in her footsteps and then create my own Yeah, you're path. supposed to. I, you yeah. know, I venture off the path yeah. and you know, I, hey Rhonda, I'm doing this. Can yeah. you tell me what I need to do? But <laughs> she just, when I say she, she really does empower you. She, she motivates you and she makes you feel like you can do anything. That's good. That's because that's what sisterhood is about, and that's, that's what right. we're supposed to be as people. That's I tell right. people all the time: we're interrelated, interconnected, and interdependent so upon each right. other. And if right. we don't understand how right. we need each other, right. how um, we can change the things right. you said, the words, right. the empowerment, then we forget. What were you thinking with Sisters Friend United? Like, what can you woke up one morning and was like, "This is it"? Or actually, God put this vision on me, mm -hmm. and so uh, there was a need. Just being around women, I noticed that we play so many roles. We yep. have so many hats that we have mm -hmm. to wear. But then I realized that somewhere along the way, we're empty. Nobody's helping us, you know. Mm -hmm. We're helping dad. We're helping the kids. Mm -hmm. We're helping family. You know, but we never have time for us. So who takes the opportunity to uplift That's us, good. to That's encourage good. us? And so this group, Sister Friends, our whole objective is to help us grow, help mm -hmm. us to understand that you are empowered to to do what you want to do. You know, mm -hmm. what does the cup say? Think you want it? Yeah, get that's it, what I was like. This is dope. <laughs> think you want to get it. So, think you, you want to get it. And that's what it's about. But the thing is, getting it is not always easy. There's yeah. going to be challenges. There's going to be bumps Every in the road. Mm -hmm. But that's when you circle back to this group of sister friends and say, hey, we're cheering you on. We're that's here to real. support you. That's you know, real. we're here along this journey because we know it's easy to think it and it's easy to want yes. it, but yes. the get it part. It's so hard. <laughs> if if you're so just, hard. if you get it part. It's super hard if you're just <laughs> tuning in. I'm here with Nakia J. Bolin and Rhonda Aaron from Sister Friends United and we're learning more about the organization and how important sisterhood and relationships are and you know how I feel about that that sisterhood is everything I tell everybody all the time my tribe means everything um, to me and that's how I get they have this dynamic organization that not only impacts women but also impacts young girls now I came to an event y'all yes. brought me in to speak yes. at an event and I knew after that event I wanted to interview <laughs> you guys because I knew what you did but I didn't know what you did right. I know you did the hat lunch right. and we're going right. to talk about that in just a minute but I came to this event and you did this event for all these young women and I left and I was like this is what it's about what what was your goal behind that event Oh, I guess you could take that because okay. this is your baby. Okay. Well, okay, we did what she's talking about is rewrite, get fit, and lead. And what that event was an event for um, girls ages 12 to 18 to um, come in and to learn that. In order to be an effective leader, you have to be well-read and mm -hmm. well-written. Mm -hmm. um, right. You know, right now in the state of Arkansas, literacy rates are going down right. um, yes. as opposed to going up. And it's so crazy to me because we're in the information age. So in order to be able to do things, you have to be able to read. But it's more than just reading. It's able, being able to comprehend and being able right. to speak your mind mm -hmm. and um, being able to... Um, comprehend the importance of different things when you mm -hmm. read a news article when you read a story when you speak to someone and someone is speaking to you that's you need to be able, is. that's right you mm -hmm. need to be able to understand this so what we did we brought in these um great women lakeisha um 
Jessica, Jessica, Jessica mm -hmm. Jess, Cheryl, um, Who's our Tiffany, um, Tia, Tia Griffin, Tia, yes. and then um, I think her name was Tiffany Hatton uh -huh. from um, UAMS. And what we did was had different portions where um, the girls were able to share their experiences with different right. areas of life. Um, we had one young lady in the session with me and Jessica Key that spoke about how she had been bullied at school just yeah, simply because yeah. of the color of her skin. Yeah. The girls talked about colorism in our community and That's how good. it really affects them. Mm -hmm. um, we had one young lady that um, talked about getting ready to go off to college and the different things she experienced. I mean, it was so many different portions of that event. It was like four different sessions and we were able to have that session through donations in the community as yes. well as um, a grant from the Blue and You Foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we talked to the girls about um, your whole being being fit that's uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Um, and when it comes to being physically fit, what a lot of people don't understand is when you get physically fit, it starts your mind to move and it helps you to be able to think. Oh, I'm the living witness. <laughs> I, I lost 60 pounds over the last four years and I tell people, spirit, my push is spirit, soul, and body. Wow. It's not good for you to 60 pounds on a, a grind and I'm faithful to it. My kids know I don't go anywhere till I exercise. Right. Till I change what I eat, and you need if we teach them that early, right. then it does right. change everything right. in them. So that's one of the programs that they're working on. Tell us about the hat luncheon. Ah, one of my faves during the year. I know I hate so. hats. <laughs> and, and, and wait a minute, I, I love hate it. hats. Love it, love it. I love hate it. hats, and, and they made they they're so you community centered yes. that they gave a donation to our organization, and they were like inviting us to the hat yes. luncheon, and yes. I was like, oh my god, I gotta wear that. That's right. My head too what big for. Yeah. So tell us about the, the luncheon. The hat luncheon, the purpose of the hat luncheon is actually to benefit another nonprofit organization. So we put that event together and we invite people out. One, not only to bring awareness to this organization so you can help support it in the future mm -hmm. by tapping them into you know new audiences, mm -hmm. but also two, so we can give back and give a donation to that organization to help you continue your mission and what you're trying to do. So the hat launch is not really for us. Yeah, it's, it's for, for another community. organization and it's, you know, to help give back in the community. Yeah. So. And I love to have like the women at the hat lunch of Michelle Wright. Yeah, Michelle Wright has won for several years. My mom loves her hat. So I need Those somebody to come with that Cicely Tyson hat. Oh, yes. Spring 2019. No, no, no. Oh. I saw that hat. No, no, no. Spring 2019. No one needs to do that hat. I screenshot that hat and I sent that hat to one of my girls and I was like, I love You are automatically the winner, baby. She brought it. With this hat right here. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, it was but I loved it. No, yes. and so, and I love that, and I love the degree at which you guys do this. Now, I also saw something else. I got to attend a banquet mm -hmm. where you, um, you do honorees. You always mm -hmm. honor different women. Tell me more about the banquet, and then I'll, there's a part of it I want to talk a little bit more about because I want to get more people involved because you guys give a scholarship, mm -hmm. and that was big for me. It took me almost 10 years to get my bachelor's degree, right? And it take me long to get my master's. My husband's like, man, after you finish, you suck some stuff in on me. But it took me 10 years to get my bachelor's degree, and I know how much funding and scholarships right. and those things are important to us, especially right. everybody don't want to take out student loans, or even right. if you do, you might need a little bit of an edge right. or some money in your pocket. Tell me about the banquet. Right. So what we do each year, we host a, what we call Women of Excellence Awards and Faith Scholarship Banquet. The purpose of that is to give a platform to honor women in the community. Mm. We do it in five different areas. So we do it in education, we do it in media, we do it in uh, health, social service, business, and religion. Mm -hmm. And so we honor um, a woman in the community just for her community service work, yeah, for her career dope. achievements. Yes. And so we do twofold with this event. So this event is not only to give them a platform to be recognized and to celebrate their success, mm -hmm. but it's also inspiration for the high school graduates that are going to college so they can hear their stories. Mm -hmm. Know that even though I'm here at this point, I was once where you were. Mm -hmm. And so this is my story and this is my inspiration to you and this is my testimony yes. so that way you can draw something from it to inspire you along this journey yes. because it's not easy you know we need each other we need that system we need so when you see just being in a room of black girl magic you yes. know when you get in yes. there true you magic. automatically true. feel inspired and yeah. you're like wow i didn't know that even though this lady is here in this role that she had to struggle through this and that yep. this was hearing her. the story and so you're like wow okay let me get up i can do it yeah. let me get up i can make a difference let that's me get powerful. up and make it happen and so that's 
that's the purpose of that event. So not only is it a platform that we give these women to say, hey, sister, mm -hmm. we see you. We see what you're doing for our community. We see what you're doing in your career. We want to give you this platform and say we honor you and we celebrate you for what you're doing mm -hmm. for black women and being an inspiration. But not only that. This is the young generation that's coming up. This is our future yes, generation. Yes, and you, you got to sow those seeds. Right. We better start. You better start planting right. in them because this world is planting in them different ideas, right. different thought processes. A lot of them don't have selfie, healthy self images. Sometimes you think they have a good vision for themselves right. and their future, and they don't even necessarily right. have a good vision for themselves and their futures. And one of the things you talked about was this scholarship. How can somebody get connected? Can they do? They just make a donation? Do they sponsor a table? Because I, I want to. See your scholarship funds increase. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Because right. what do you right. give in scholarship every year? Uh, we do a thousand dollars scholarship. And uh, what we want to do is uh, you can support us by uh, going to our website and making a donation. Uh, you can support us by attending our event. We do that event uh, each year in May. It's the Saturday before Mother's Day every year. So you can also purchase a table, make a donation to support our organization. All of that pours into the young women. And what we've been doing That's is having uh, women come, the young ladies come back. Okay. So they come back and That's let good. you know, you know, their experiences in school and, That's good. you know, and they share how it made a difference for them. And, you know, it's really awesome. That's good. And you'd like, wow, that, what we invest in you to see it come back and then to see them say, hey, now I want to give back and now I want to help, you know, make yes. a difference. So. so one of the themes of something that you guys keep talking about and I keep hearing consistently is sisterhood. I want each of you to tell me what sisterhood, not necessarily just just for each other, right. but what has sisterhood meant for you and why is it so important? Okay, for me, um, I'm the youngest of five. Um, I do have two sisters. Um, but you know, sometimes when you have family, you're closer to other people than you are to your family. And that's, um, my I older agree. sister is 18 years older than me. So, oh, wow. yeah, so it makes a big difference. But um, sisterhood to me is about the camaraderie, um, the pouring into each other, the bouncing ideas off of each other without judgment, but with truth. Yes. Because baby, <laughs> you need the truth. this one right here will give you that you real truth. truth. Y'all, yeah. she gave me, we were in celebration of me last night, but I got a lecture the whole time. <laughs> yeah. But um, in any event, for me, um, sisterhood is really important. My best friend died uh, maybe six years ago in a mm -hmm. motorcycle accident. Oh, and it's wow. been hard for me to wow. connect um, with um, women wow. since then. It's yeah. been really, really hard. But coming into Sister Friends United, um, building these relationships, mm -hmm. um, the strong rapport, and then having people that pour into you, okay. that encourage you when you're doing good, um, let you know when you're doing bad, try to take you to the next level. Because when I say Rhonda mm -hmm. pours into me like nobody else has ever poured into me, when she tells me that she sees things in me, and she'll tell me one thing, and then it'll be like six or seven people just keep telling me the same thing. People that have no clue who she is. Yes. 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 They have no clue who she yes. is or what she does. And it's like... With everyone in the group, it's just um, a great sisterhood. And from the group, what I've learned is to be able to empower other women. Um, I started a job about three weeks ago, and it was just an interim job until I started my new career on Monday. Oh, and I, awesome. I have to smile when I say yeah. that. But I met these two women, and they just kept telling me, Nakia, you're you, you just so eloquent when you speak and everything that you're saying. I go and I talk to somebody else and it comes back to me. And it's not anything that um, that I read. It's just things that I've learned over time and things from listening right. to Rhonda from and being able, yes, yeah. being able to uplift yeah, other women. Yes, because we need that, you guys, especially as... Um, black women we need to be uplifted because there's so much that goes on in our community that brings us down and we take the, right. the brunt of everything you know it always falls back on us about what's going on so when i find myself surrounded by people like lakeisha ronda tia sean mm -hmm. angela i mean just Shout different Sean. Sean's my girl too <laughs> when I, I find myself surrounded by them and they keep pouring into me i'm able to pour into somebody else okay. and when i have somebody like Rhonda that just develops you as a supervisor she develops you as a, a friend she develops that's you good. as a peer as a church member that's whatever good. it is she just has that about herself so for me it just takes sisterhood to the next level and for you Rhonda 
sisterhood, sisterhood. A candle loses nothing by lighting another. Oh, that's good. So when I'm broken, that's real good. somebody's there to pick me up. Yes. When I'm celebrating, yes. somebody's there to pick me up. Yes. Through good times, through bad, whatever the challenges are, yes. sisterhood is picking me up and being that candle that lights another no matter how what I'm going through. And just yeah. being that consistent figure that's there in your life, you know. So to me, that's sisterhood. You know, when I yeah. need a shoulder to cry on, you're mm -hmm. there. If I'm celebrating and we hanging out and we kicking it, yeah. you know, you're there. So it's just that consistency in your life and to understand that when one wins, we all win. That's and right. that a that's candle lighting another that's and right. us encouraging another and us uplifting another and us supporting another, we lose no value from that. The only thing we do is increase, we grow and we help each other build. Rhonda, that's really, really big, and I think people miss that sometimes. I remember I was a college professor for 12 years, and I remember one time, just a girl came to talk to me, and she was like, how did you get into teaching? And I said, and she said something, and it really broke my heart, and it's because she said, I've asked other women who are teaching, and nobody will tell me. And I was like, what? And she was like, nobody will tell me what I'm supposed to do. I said, well, I'm gonna give you exactly my right. steps. I don't, I'm gonna give you exactly my right. steps because me hiding information from you, right. what's for me, right. is for you. That's you right. can't stop me. No. That's right. You can't That's stop right. me. Right. You can't right. stop right. what's you can't right. stop coffee and conversation. Right. You can't right. stop pillow talk. Right. You can't stop my ministry. You can't right. stop my nonprofit That's organization right. because That's right. That's designed for me. Right. I write. You can't stop me as a writer. I'm a poor like everything that's uniquely designed for me, right. you can, and I can't stop nothing for you. Right. Right. And so pouring into you, sharing, giving right. you information, um, elevating you, pouring and taking my time to speak into your life. I've never seen, I know the foundation of our communities um, become demolished or so demised because we don't take out the right. time or we too busy throwing shade right. or we too busy right. throwing hate. I want you, girl, go get it. Right. That's my whole right. motto, go get it. Like if I see something, I'm a double lap. You right. got married, I'm a double. You bought right. your house, I'm a double. You, right. you got a new career, right. you got no career. Baby, go get it. Right. Because as strong as you are, as strong as I am, as strong as my community is, as strong as who needs who needs to come next behind me right. is, and that's not color, that's just period about right. people, period. And so I think that's essential, and I think we keep missing the the opportunity for sisterhood like we should. Um, so that that's big for me. I'm glad you're doing it. How does somebody become involved with Sister Friends United? Because I heard her talk about selection at first. You had hand rights and selection, okay. right? So how does somebody become, if they wanted to be a part, if they wanted to be volunteer, how does somebody become a part of Sister Friends United? Well, you can always volunteer. We do about, what, four, four big events during, throughout the year. So you're always looking for volunteers to help us get events together, to help us set up, you know, when people are coming for registration. So we're always looking for volunteers. You can always go to our website, uh, get signed up uh, there for our information and events. You'll know what we have coming up. And also, too, uh, if you want to become a member, you want to join us and, you know, help support what we're doing, we do a uh, annual membership drive. It's okay. in November. Okay, so coming up soon. Coming up soon. For coming some up reason, soon. the year is moving <laughs> super lightning fast. I'm like, what happened? Yes, it was just yes. You know, so uh, it'll be in November. So uh, look on the website, uh, look on our Facebook page, stay, stay up with us, and you'll see what we got going on. That's big. That's big. So if you need to get involved, if you're looking for something to connect to, here's an organization. If I bring them on camera, it means I <laughs> believe in what they're doing. Um, everybody in my crew knows I'm not touching you if I don't believe in what you got going on. But if I believe in what you got going on, I'm bringing you a camera. So if I'm bringing them a camera, I'm believing what they're doing. I'm telling you to get involved. I'm telling you to go make a donation. I'm gonna help you guys this year raise money for the scholarship. I'm telling wow. you, I'm Thank pledging you. and promising Thank that. You. I have a number in my head that I said I'm hoping I double it. But wow. I'm gonna help and I'm gonna push my sister to it because we were thinking about releasing a scholarship. But if you already have one and I can help you may raise more money, then maybe you can release two or maybe mm. you can release three. Or right. maybe, we ain't gotta duplicate everything. Right. We do too much duplication right. out here. Right. Everything doesn't have to be duplicated. Right. So I'm gonna get behind my sisterhood, uh, LMJ Ministries, Coffee Conversations. <laughs> Sickle Cell Support Services and figure out how to get some more money for y'all so y'all can get you. more than a thousand dollars in scholarship because I also know what it's like to have a nonprofit yes. or an organization. <laughs> Um, I don't know why yeah. people think we just super paid. Super <laughs> paid. Hey, man, I tell people that all the time. They don't understand the hard work that goes into yes. it. And this was the first year that SFU worked 12 whole months. We normally oh, wow. have two months. Then we all, take a break. Yeah, we take we a break. Oh, June wow. and July. We didn't have a break. Oh, and it's wow. like people 
you have new people that want to come in, and yes. when they come in and they see the hard work that goes into yes. it, people don't really they realize how much off. work goes behind And it's you guys. I tell people, come on, baby, it's like a baby. You got to rock it. It's your baby. It's the wedding. To put together, baby, baby, it's it's put together like whoa, whoa, we worked on that um, all the way. I know from uh, what was it, September to mm -hmm. to May, yeah. up yeah. until the very yeah. last moment, um, to put together the hat luncheon. Rhonda kind of has the format out, but we still had to go out and yes. find their organization. Yes. We still had to sell those tickets. We still had to um, get vendors to come in to help support us, yes. to right. um, put together read, write, get fit, and lead. You guys, when I say, I, I, I have a whole new respect for Rhonda because that was my baby <laughs> yes. that I had to take on from beginning to end. It started with us talking at the pen and ceremony mm -hmm. about literacy and the, important, right. and the importance yeah. of reading. Yes. And yes. it birthed into something totally different. And then we were able to get that grant. But it was work from the first right. day we yeah. talked about it all the way up until the end. And then just getting people to come in and support. Right. People do not. Dun and McEwen posted some on Facebook I yesterday, love Dun. yesterday I love or the Dun. day before I yesterday. Love Dun. Yes. He talked about how people will buy Beyonce tickets for two hundred and fifty dollars, yes. but won't pay ten dollars to support their friends and we their have a, and endeavors. we have a campaign. Get free and get ten. <laughs> yes. Like if I had all my friends on my timeline right. involved in ten dollars a month, it changes the face mm -hmm. of how I provide supportive services that's, to sickle cell patients. Awesome. That's real. That's real. Right. But th but that's how it is. People don't want to support you. Um, they think that it's easier. They think that money is growing on trees or just pouring into our lap. No, we are nonprofit. So you we guys. Fight all Everybody you guys, we are up. always operating yes, in the negative and are. fighting to get it back in the positive. And then yes, as soon right. as we get it back in the positive, it's going out to a scholarship. Mm -hmm. We've it, you're right, we, but, right. but also that administrative costs right. still are necessary. Right. And when people are like, um, I don't want to give. Here's the thing. I work my organization full time. I got to get a salary. Right. That's right. And even if y'all are getting paid, it's okay. You work right. in a business. That's you right. still, and as a nonprofit, it ain't like, are you, you keep your right. administrative costs like down to 25%. So right. your salary ain't going to be that <laughs> right. big. That's right. It ain't going to be that big. It That's ain't going right. to be that big from That's it. Right. And we, but you still got to do that. And I think people right. miss that. We right. are almost, we get into that wrapped up part. And I want to make sure they know how to connect to y'all, how to find y'all. What do they need? You can go and check us out on Facebook. We're on Instagram, and I think we're on Twitter, too. We are on Sister Twitter. Sister Friends United, so check us out for, for Little Rock. Also, our website is www.sisterfriendsunited.com. That's so, right. So if anybody wanted to console or privately, how can they get in contact with you? What are your Facebook pages? I know you have the, you knew, you do event planning. Mm -hmm. how, how do we get in contact with you personally? You can contact me through um, Nakia J. Bolden on Facebook. I'm also under Kia Bolden on Facebook. Um, as well contact me in my inbox i answer every inbox whether i know you or not i'm so I'm so glad, I'm proud of you. i need to get better with that because i look sometimes and be like who is this <laughs> so you can contact me that way i can always be reached by phone 501-218-5011 any questions you have about sfu i'll try to answer them if i can't answer them, Girl, yes. you want to know. That's what I do. So, I mean, anything you want to know, you can always contact me right. anyway. You can also catch me on Tuesdays. I'm also on um, the, the, yeah. on, on the Lady K show, on Relationship Realities okay. with okay. Lady K. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So, I do that show as well. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, with Rhonda's pushing, I may have my own little thing going. Should. I know. Do it, do it, do I know. It, do it, do it. Yeah. I know. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. scared. I need. I need. I need my cup of courage. Yeah. I need my cup of courage. Good. So it's coming now. It's coming now. Yeah. So I'm Rhonda Erin on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. I'm Rhonda K. That's good. So uh, you can get at me at seven 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 ninety three eleven. No. Seven eight six one eight zero one. Get with me. You know, if you want to help us with uh, anything that we have going on, we're always welcome for people to help. You know, this nonprofit organization. So we would good. love for you to support. Right. Yes. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Yes. We love for you guys to support us. Share yes. what we're doing. Share yes. what we have going on. Yes. And know that this is all about black girl magic and power and uplifting right. other women. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we're trying to take care of the future generation as well. That's so. cool. Both y'all have fun. Oh, Thank y'all for you. coming on and being on the show. Hey, you guys, do not forget, we have been on two weeks vacation. Daily Devotional comes back Monday morning, 5 a.m. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. People have been like, where you been? I had to take time out to refresh and restore, so I'll be back. But this is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. You know Sickle Cell has impacted my life 
personally. Four years ago, I lost my husband due to complications of sickle cell disease, and I've just been fighting ever since for those who live and have lived like us. So today, if you want to make impact, meet me at Greater Friendship Church in about 15 minutes. <laughs> we have a blood drive going on from 9 to 2. You can come give blood. That's the easiest give back that you have. Come give blood today. Three, One unit of blood can potentially save uh, three lives. In the last year of Jermaine's life in 2013, we had 70 units of blood, and those 70 wow. units of blood kept him around for us for another year. That in the power of God. And so I'm big about blood. I give every year. I get my sons and my friends to come. And you get a free lunch and a free t-shirt today <laughs> if you give and a free bag. And you can just come hang out or you can come make a do donation and show your face for those that live with sickle cell. Blood is very important to sickle cell patients. It helps replace the old blood and gives them new blood. So definitely want to see you out there. And then tonight, tonight, at, tonight, yes, tonight. at the Rev Room, there's a, a tribute -E to oh, I love it, right? <laughs> to Aretha Franklin tonight at the Rev Room and my organization. Shout out to Cliff Aaron, drummer boy. Part of the proceeds are going to my nonprofit organization. So we'll be down at the Rev Room tonight. Get your ticket now. Don't wait to come to the door and think It'll that you can get in. Good. The Arkansas Symphony Orchestra will be performing there tonight. And then there are about 15 major artists across the state yes. who are going to be performing for this tribute to Aretha Franklin. Y'all know how to reach me, LakeishaMJohnson.com. I will see you guys Monday morning at 5 a.m. Go follow them, go like them, follow go get us. in touch with them, go make a donation. Sometimes you think five or $10 do not, does not make a difference, and it, it does, it adds it up. So go tonight and fi go follow them, go get connected to the vision. I thank y'all, thank y'all for what y'all doing in the community. And I just speak a blessing over you that everything thank that you, you put your hands to shall multiply and increase for you to Impact, not just the state but this entire world wow. I love you guys so much y'all know my thing I love you so much you know what I'm getting ready to tell y'all go be loved today let someone else experience love through you like never ever before and as my granny used to say chin up <laughs> faith out <laughs> peace <laughs> thank y'all